Hi, this is Jason Fielder with the Daily Forex Report for October 7th. We are currently looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This particular pair closed lower today. It did move higher and much lower. It actually broke previous uh, support but pulled up and met, basically closed at some previous support um, a little bit much higher actually than this session's low. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with a bias to the downside. We are looking for this pair to potentially move as high as 89.89, possibly as low as 87.36. Look for some resistance around 89.33 and look for some support around 88.00. Now, switching over to the Euro USD pair, this particular pair uh, closed down today. It did form an inside bar, so be uh, looking for a breakout during this next session, or at least a possible breakout. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with the bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially move as high as 145.78, possibly as low as 148.14. 148, Look for some resistance around 147.39 and look for some support around 146.45 in this pair. Now, switching over to the pound US dollar pair, this pair did not break out. Um, it has continued to consolidate down. We have a breakout that is imminent, I promise. It will occur. Not sure which direction. It is moving sideways right now with the bias that is sideways, but um, we could have a breakout at any time. Now, Look for this pair to potentially move as high as 1.6067, possibly as low as 157.51. Look for some resistance around 160.50 and look for some support around 158.50. Now, switching over to the US Swiss, this particular pair closed higher today. It is moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for this pair to potentially move as high as 1.0420, possibly as low as 10196. Look for some resistance around 10358 and look for some support around 10268. Now, as far as news announcements goes, we have the pound releasing their rate decision tomorrow at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. They, uh, the consensus on this is that they're going to hold rates at 0.50%. Now, they also are going to be releasing their asset, asset purchase targets, uh, and the consensus on that is that it's going to be held at uh, $175 billion. Now, we also have the Eurozone releasing their rate decision tomorrow at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and the consensus on that is that they're going to hold rates at 1%. Now, with that information, the, this uh, the Euro USD is most likely going to move sideways over the next several hours. Uh, let's take a look at this. Something I was just looking at. We have we have a channel that's been created definitely on the downside. Lows very close together. We have as far as support trend line. We have going very strong um, to the downside. Look for it to continue to test this when it starts to pull back, maybe in the next, uh, the next bar, you could look for it to come down uh, a little bit, down at least down to this point of support. Now, uh, the reason this is, is important is you can grab a few pips between those two this is kind of what I would look for, uh, some, somewhere between the 1.4698 mark and the 1.4671 mark. So that's just a, a few pips, about 27 pips. You could put your stop loss a little bit above this channel or this trend line, looking for it to come down. Uh, this would probably be a pretty good bet considering we do have the interest rate announcement being released tomorrow. This is probably, this pair is probably just going to track sideways for the most part. And this is definitely within, um, you know, an upper resistance and lower support level. So pulling, you know, 20 pips, 27 pips out of that market should not be difficult over the next several hours. 
Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.